A former Keller ISD student who was stalked and harassed by a teacher is now suing the school district. The teacher resigned and later pleaded guilty to federal charges. The lawsuit accuses Keller ISD of not doing enough in response to the student's complaints. Fox 4's Dion Anglin talked with the former student's family attorney. Dion. Yeah, the attorney for the student says that the lawsuit was filed today. This afternoon, Keller ISD fired back, indicating to us it acted appropriately throughout this matter. The student, identified as Jane Doe, seeks unspecified damages in the case against Keller ISD. The Timber Creek High School student, who was 16 at the time, graduated earlier this year. In February, former teacher and track coach Ricky Badley was convicted of stalking and harassing her and her family, along with possession of child pornography. He's now serving a 10-year federal prison sentence. This man has been put in, in federal prison now. He has been punished through the criminal system, but what the Title IX civil lawsuit does is it also holds accountable the institution, the school, and the decision makers and adults who failed in ways that allowed this to continue. The federal suit was filed Wednesday morning in the Northern District Court in Fort Worth. It spells out how beginning in 2019, the plaintiff endured Badley's fixation with her and unwanted advances, including over 600 text messages, letters, and occurrences where he appeared at events and her home. How has she been affected by, by it all? This young woman has dealt with depression and anxiety. In a statement through her attorney, she writes, I guess a lot of people grow up thinking high school was a great time, but I feel like my memories of high school are always going to be about being in this gross situation and just feeling like I didn't know what to do to make it stop. The lawsuit alleges Keller ISD violated the student's constitutional rights when, after having knowledge of a law enforcement investigation and other evidence from the student and her parents, it failed to issue any restrictions or warnings, failed to conduct an investigation, failed to institute any policies to shut down the behavior, and failed to impose any contact restrictions on Badley. Badley resigned in January of 2020, nine months before he was indicted. The lawsuit requests a jury trial and punitive damages of at least a million dollars. There is no dollar value that is going to repair the damage and what she and her family have been through. Now, the school district's response to us today regarding the lawsuit, Keller ISD will vigorously defend itself as the district took swift and appropriate action and fully cooperated throughout the entire investigation.